flames shooting 50 to 100 feet in the air, black and white smoke covering several miles of the peninsula. That was the scene October 1st, 1981, when the Army Pier at Fort Monroe caught on fire. From Chopper 10, the site of ground units, both military and civilian, fighting the blaze. Planes from the Air Force and Navy dumping chemicals on the pier, and tugboats from the Navy and Coast Guard. It's one of the largest blazes at Hampton Roads in recent time, resulting in a harbor fire protection bill by the General Assembly. Lawmakers delegated the responsibility for it all to the Virginia Port Authority, which wants two fireboats to get the job done. VPA oh, Deputy well, Executive well, Director Jack Stroud. Well, there's been a need for a considerable length of time because the fire protection has been handled by the commercial tugs and Navy tugs over the years, but those tugs may be in use uh, on their regular mission at the time of a fire, and also, of course, they are slow. So what we're really looking at, we think, is a modification of a, an oil platform crew boat or some type of high-speed work boat. The boats, costing over a million dollars apiece, would be stationed on both sides of the harbor. This artist rendering is typical of the vessel the VPA wants, with 17 outlets for spraying foam and water, fully equipped to handle any harbor blaze. The crew would consist of Port Authority employees, but the firefighting would be left up to units from the Tidewater cities. Next month, the Port Authority will be going to Richmond, asking the state to fund the fireboat project. If the House Appropriations and Senate Finance Committees agree, then the bidding process for construction of the vessels will get underway. In Norfolk, Ava Hurdle, The Daily News.